speaking of grooming and all of that, pets, you'll love them, you hate them, they cost you too much, or you couldn't live without them, uh, they're too much maintenance, or they're part of the family, you know how it all goes. So when we found out there was a National Dog Groomers Association seminar on in Auckland, where the best of the best fly in from the States, we knew we needed to be there, so we sent Matchism. They've come from all over the country. It should be a nice straight line. To watch, learn and wonder. How impressive was that soft-coated wheat interior work? Just beautiful. You know, Jodie is just fantastic and seeing her working up front is just amazing. Oh yeah, all eyes are on American Jodie Murphy. I was named like the world grand champion. A dog grooming great. I love Jodie. When I first started grooming, I got every single one of her DVDs and just watched them over and over again. Have you brought your autograph book? Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> Give us some of my clippers too. <laughs> Jodie travels the world with her combs, clippers and scissors. And I'm just going to tip this. Upskilling her fans, improving a multi-million dollar industry. So I've been to Australia three times. You know, I've been to Canada, I can't even count how many times to Canada and to London. And Are you amazed that you can have this kind of life from dog grooming? And that's what I said to the girls yesterday at the end of our event in New Zealand. I said, you know, how lucky am I? Those girls and the odd bloke. She's obviously um, pretty top end, you know. <laughs> at this three day Auckland grooming seminar, we'd all say it's win win. I've been grooming for a long, long time and um, I learned something this morning. So that's good. We all learn something. Oh, we never stop learning, we Sheila. We never stop learning. In New Zealand, you don't need a licence to be a groomer, which means anyone could become one overnight. People think that they can just pick up a pair of scissors and be a dog groomer, and it's not that simple. Does it really matter what they look like at the end of it, though? Very well. I think the owners care what it looks like at the end of it. <laughs> And a much-loved pet in the wrong hands. Did you just give that wee dog a kiss? Yeah. <laughs> Can end in tears. We've had dogs come in with um, broken bones. We've had dogs come in where they've you know, fallen off the table, that have had gashes down their neck, that have had to have stitches, that have had really bad burns and grazes and infections from not looking after their equipment. How long does it take to become competent? You know, when I started grooming, it took me like up to five years before I really felt comfortable with what I was doing. You know, it's a skill. A skill I don't possess, and to prove just how difficult it is for an amateur. At what point do we sedate the dog? <laughs> we don't. Our love is like a heat wave. I'd have just an hour. Yes, 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 yes. With wee Jess. She's really nervous because she knows you have no idea what you're doing. What? And even with the backing of the world's best. You look like a natural. Shucks, is it tough? Mm. You just need more practice and more guidance. I could have done without a couple of hands, actually. Yeah, it'd be great to learn as if you were an octopus. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> Imagine that, an octopus yeah. grooming a doll. Yeah. Easy. Unless you're right by my side. That's what I was thinking. An octopus <laughs> grooming a dog. Matt's actually quite good with animals. So he I'm looked. Surprised. He looked a bit, a little bit hesitant. Yeah, but he, it's he's a cat owner. We can't. Yeah, he is. And speaking of the cat, we can't show you the photo. Uh, but he showed us the photo of his cat, who's had fleas, of course. Uh, anyway, <laughs> of they've course. got. They've got, a, they've got the cat. I swear to God, this is a big fluffy cat, <laughs> from the head to the neck. It's all normal. The rest of it shaved off, and then it's got a regular tail. It is the most ridiculous looking thing you've ever seen. It looks like a lion, but still cute. Melly. No. Melly's no, still cute. Not even a little bit cute.